morning, I'm Sue. Good morning, I'm Mark. And, and together, together we, we are, are Nuts, Nuts on tour. tour. And the other two nutters are sat over there. Archer. Well, Looking actually, now up. she wants to be she on my lap. She now wants to be over here. But it's a little bit tight. You will hear her squeaking because I think she thinks there's dogs outside, but there isn't. Some lady just walked past with a doggy. So, oh, it's a doggy. But yeah. No, she's checking out the food bag. Hey ho. This one is an update on the last Jeez. two years. Yeah, yeah, it's about two years. In the last two years. And the condition of Lady No. And me. Yes. And and basically jealousy. Yeah. What we have been up to. Yeah. Yes. We'll start with Genesis. She actually did come first. <laughs> we, By a month. Yeah. Well, yeah. We actually per, we actually collected Genesis on the twenty seventh of March, twenty twenty two, and we had her home for about three days, and then we were off ski, off. weren't we? We yes. went up to uh, Waleswood in South Yorkshire, yeah. partly to visit family, but also to have a test run in. The big one here, yeah. didn't we? See how everything worked, worked. and make sure everything worked and yeah. make sure we knew how everything worked. And make sure the dogs could cope with actually, well actually, what only one travelled in the... I'm just going to, while this is happening. Only one actually did travel in the, um, uh, that's the co-pilot. We have pilot sat in the pilot seat and co-pilot <laughs> sat on his bench looking out the window yeah there you go that's what we have to put up with <laughs> you're not talking daddy we're looking out the window yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> what are you yeah. like i'm hey? sauntering dad but yes and um when we first went away in Genesis uh, we didn't have a tow car that actually you could tow behind her so I think Dakota traveled with you in here didn't she yeah and yeah that's true uh, he traveled with me in the jeep as I was driving behind because we, we needed transport when we got where we were going but uh, yeah so I yeah. I think it was the yeah, we wanted to go to runs out and we hadn't got there we hadn't arranged anything at all with the with the tour then we hadn't got monty or even thought about monty, monty at that stage no so uh no. yeah but we were um we took the jeep on a few trips didn't we yeah, uh, three or four <laughs> but the crazy thing is i say it was the probably third or fourth time that the genesis went out that i actually got to ride in genesis with all the dogs uh as well and that's when we found out that we needed something to stop the dogs getting to the driver. Coming up for cuddles while we drive. Daddy, daddy, I want a Cuddle. treat. Daddy, yeah. daddy, I want a <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't work. Treat. It? Daddy, Interfering daddy, daddy. with the driver. Hmm. Not good. Not good. But we, uh, we know what trips it was because Sue keeps... I keep what they call it, a trip log. Yeah. It's... Um, if this goes way back this actually starts let me have a quick look in 2016 15. 2016 it does well i started it in 2015 thank you the first trip wasn't till 2016 by the look of it I want one. <laughs> oh no there is a 2015 trip oh, see Backwards. see oh. yeah Old Bolingbrook in Lincolnshire was the first trip yeah. in That's 2015. Closed now. We think it's closed. Think I it's need to closed. check. That's a good, that was a lovely, it was a lovely one, site. Yeah. But we started another CL working farm. Yeah. Like our CL working this started farms. with the Valencia caravan, the Bailey yes. Valencia, and that before that was there was the Valencia, the Cartagena, the Alaria and two Buccaneers. So it was like the first of five caravans before we even got. Genesis. <laughs> yes, right. Yeah, that's when we started this, and it's still going. Mind you, I am nearly at the end. There isn't much left. We have got a we have got a replacement book already. Yeah, there is there is 
probably a With last few trips year. for this year, I'd last say, year, possibly maybe. into next, depending on how many times we go away. But brilliant little thing to look back on. Yeah. Also, you put down the prices and the costs, etc. Yeah. So you can you see, see how, how things much things have, have gone up. They never go down. No, they always go, always up. go up. Yeah. yeah. But That's you can, uh, like, just then, you know, you, you, it settles arguments when you say, oh, we were there in 2014. Yeah, no, we no, weren't. Well. It's 2016. <laughs> no, no, it's 2014. Get the log out. Log out. Oh, it's 2016. Yeah, she's uh, right again. <laughs> but there's, this was something I got for Christmas, actually, dig digressing here. And this is motorhome recipes. You keep a record, a journal of your recipes that you've done, actually, in your motorhome. And... Uh, a few more to add to There's that. There's a now. few more. There is quite a few more to add to that. Something I can do while we're away. Something while week. I'm something while, while I'm selling my pens. While you're selling that's pens it. at the craft fair, I can sit here that's and it. do the journals, keep them up to date. So the one of the things uh, that we were saying uh, with our Van Other Collective, which we're a part of, was things that you had done to your motorhome, and I said, well, not a lot really. Apart from the little nooks, nicky you know, we'd, inside. We'd, we've made it our own, but uh, one of the things that we tried to do is we made our list uh, for things that we wanted in the van or in the motorhome before we got it, and that was the that was the thing to get as much of the uh, get as many of the things that we wanted and needed in the van when we got the van, so we didn't have to do it later on. All right, it might cost you a bit more at the outset. But then you're not chopping and changing your van around every other month. No, exactly. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, lady with a dog. Shh. No, it's a lady on her own. There is no dog. No dog. But yeah, we uh, managed to get a van that had got everything, everything on it that, on we it wanted. that you wanted, basically. And a few other things that we hadn't even <laughs> thought about. A few other things beside, yeah. yeah. That's it. That's it. And voiceover from Dakota. Dakota, yeah. Aww. I'll add in the. Uh, the Wookiee sounds. Yeah. That's it. So, of course, like I say, this was purchased, or actually not purchased, but we actually collected her on the 27th of March. Uh, we disappeared up to Yorkshire for, I think, possibly a week, week and a bit. Came back. She then had to go into storage because we hadn't had the front of the property altered to park her here. It wasn't white enough. We couldn't get her. Well, we parked on the grass for a little while, but no, we took her into storage because she was going to be put away for at least six weeks because you were then going back to work. Mm. Oh, dirty word. <laughs> <laughs> you had to go back to work and you were actually going back to America. Yeah. So in that six weeks, I got my... Um, Request, summons yes. request to request, go and have come and attend come and have your three yearly mammogram so off your trolley you get your mammogram done you come home and you think oh yeah that's all all right that's done for another three that's years that's done for another three years then two weeks later you get a letter saying we need you to come back we've got to do biopsies um and and it was I, i'll never forget that there's a little statement in the in the top paragraph says four out of a hundred women will get cancer and I looked at it and thought, and guess who that is? <laughs> like this. Guess who's <laughs> one of the lucky four? four. So I went and had my biopsies. Um, at this point, Mark knew nothing about what was going on because he was in America. So there was no point actually trying to stress him out over that till I knew what was happening. Had the biopsies, saw the consultant. Yes, bingo, you're one of the four. So then at this point... By this time, Mark is actually crossing the Atlantic, coming back to the UK, but via sea. So that was a nice 21 day sail. So I didn't actually, I don't think I actually told you that I'd been diagnosed with breast cancer until you were just off Cornwall. <laughs> and, 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 and the people on board, you know, the, the, the company were, oh, we'll, we'll pull in and send you home sort of thing. And I said to Mark, I said, don't worry about it. I said, nothing's going to happen until you get here anyway. So you've got your next appointment. My next and appointment. It and it, it wasn't until like you week. got home. It wasn't so, for like a week well, and I was due off the following day. Yeah. So we that's. Got to Norway and. I thought, isn't, you know, we said, oh, isn't this typical? We've just bought a motorhome. We were looking forward to getting away in it a lot. And then bingo. Every silver she gets cloud breast has cancer. A, <laughs> yes. Every silver cloud has a lead lining. Yeah. Mm. So basically had all the tests, had all the scans, 
started my chemo um, and what we were doing uh, in, during the chemo was it was like a three week rotor there was what week one was mm, week what well, I actually called it shit, shit week. week and that was um, when you'd had the treatment and then nine days later you started the bone marrow injections which yes they really do hurt and yes they do make you sick ill so then week two you sort of because you're into the bone marrow injections and then going into week two so it was not so bad but week three we thought right this is the week we're going to if she's up for it try and get away and we did didn't we yeah we went yeah. away every third week as every much as we week, could uh, o only up to what 40 50 miles yeah. away so we, we tried to back. keep local so that if there were any problems and sue didn't feel well it wasn't a five or six hour journey to get yeah. home literally 45 minutes to an hour we were back home i mean yeah. one of the campsites we went to is literally eight miles down the road yeah brilliant so like i say we not um, at home different change of scenery yeah 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 and i mean and of course naturally <laughs> the first trip we were going to do after my very first chemo <laughs> i was having a shower and there was more hair in me on me than than there should have been no there was more more hair coming off you than <laughs> was left on, on you. you yeah so i thought this is only after the first chemo so i thought no this is not good so i actually came out of the shower and i said to mark i said where are your clippers I said, give us a number one i said because i said i'm going to block the pipes up in the in the in the motorhome if all this lot keeps falling out so from that's why if you've watched any of our back videos why i'm got no hair because <laughs> for it the was. new ones that have just joined us who are possibly watching back videos might not know quite why she bawled mm -hmm. you know and that's that's the reason why i was diagnosed with cancer and like i say this is a quick update i did my six sessions of chemo which took me right up to november so last chemo was november then i had a nice sort of few weeks before surgery which was the 29th of december uh, after surgery, I'd look like I'd been 10 rounds with Tyson, didn't I? Down one side. Yep. Um, that took me, I had January, black February. And blue and yeah, black, black, blue, yellow, all sorts. But that sort of took me to uh, January, February, March. Then end of March, I had my radiotherapy. And now, once every six months, I'm having my Zolderonic acid or Zemeta in for short which uh, is just to protect bones had my scans had all my, more mammograms everything's tickety-boo hopefully we are on the right side and that's dakota whinging at the postman, postman just came. <laughs> so yes that's me up to date um hair grew back thick and it's grown really quick in fact actually it's frighteningly quick <laughs> <laughs> at the moment like i i did actually weeks. wonder if the bone marrow injections that got everything else going. going have sort of yeah rejuvenated the old hair follicles that's... because that's growing now yeah mm. it's thick i mean it's haven't it's been cut again tomorrow but i think i'm gonna have to change drax it every, is jealous every three weeks oh, yeah. rather than every four Dr drax is jealous but rub a hair to me mum. yeah but yeah but all the time even after between surgery and radiotherapy we managed to go away for an 11 day trip yeah. up to yorkshire again to see family but we you know we got away and actually i just added it up since we bought the vehicle on or collected it on the 27th of march 2022 to current which we are now the 19th of march so we've nearly had it two years we have managed two years next week yeah we have managed 23 trips yep around different places yep we have so i thought we've done quite well actually not too bad in two years not too, well a, considering a lot more trips than it would have been in a caravan yeah and <laughs> true and considering the other aspects of the struggles because like we were only allowed to go out one week in three yeah for nearly a year yeah so uh yeah this year hopefully we will get a few more in well we have we've actually got well done three already nearly three trips away for this year and then there's quite a few more booked hopefully yeah in different parts of the country yes so look out for us you know what we look like the big gold bus 
if you see us give us a wave we always wave back well, even two little t4s yeah things like that. Some, we wave at you all some people <laughs> you know, driving along on a little t4 or a volkswagen or a crafter and all that and we were oh it's a big bus and they're waving at you like, oh yeah giddy kippers yep yeah, yeah, we, we wave, wave at, at everybody yeah. everybody with motorhomes yes he has been homer. known to wave at horse boxes as well <laughs> horse boxes need love too horse boxes need love too because if some of the big horse boxes look like big motorhomes don't they <laughs> the posh ones yeah. waved at a national express bus the other day yeah, yeah. And it got wasn't, a wave back it wasn't a morello no got a wave back <laughs> we wave back what more do you want <laughs> But, uh, uh, yes give us a wave if you see us at a show ask us for a sticker yep. i've normally got some in my pocket well, you'll we'll be just, armed with them oh yes just had some new ones done uh, so still our nuts on tour logo just a slightly different black rim around the outside yeah. looks a bit, mm, bit glossy and a bit nice they're glossy ones these aren't they? Glossy, really glossy yes. yes anyway but uh yes so for me i am doing okay cancel the party <laughs> still get i mean having the radiotherapy where you have it you have to sort of protect other vital organs but i know for a fact that my well you can hear it on some of the videos can't you i'm huffing and puffing like an old steam train and it's not because i'm out of breath well i am out of breath but it's it's, it's due to due to radiotherapy rather than Carry other things <laughs> hey because it, mind you i didn't realize it was that bad until i heard it myself and i thought oh my god <laughs> the old like, girl sounding old <laughs> I thought, i'm sounding like i'm on 60 a day and i can't get my breath <laughs> but you're working on it oh yeah you're getting there you're working on I'm it working on it that's yeah. it walking these two and cycling and yeah out on stroke. your trike yep that's this afternoon's task <laughs> get the trike out go for a trike ride anyway, but yeah there's uh oh, doing okay post. hello doing you. okay and loving Genesis. Yes. Nearly two years round and loving the times we get away in her. So till the next one, stay safe, drive safe, enjoy life. And don't forget to ring the bell, subscribe and comment. We do actually respond to comments. We read them all. We read them all and we respond to them. Till the next one. Bye. Bye.